something about how you um, invented this way of training. It's like so many things, I stumbled upon it um, in a, a rather un, you know, usual way uh, just to meet the exigencies of a request. And it was a request from a colleague in South Africa, Dr. Jo Viljun. And um, um, she, in a moment of desperation with a client who had almost taken her life, um, reached out um, with an email to me um, pleading for help. And I, I decided that I would commit my time and effort to the circumstances. And just in brief, this person was about 31 years old. She had uh, spent six months in psychiatric hospital on average for the last 15 years. She had 12 diagnoses and was on 12 medications, which as a consequence gave her epilepsy. And um, the uh, agreement I reached was that she would transcribe the sessions and the, um, this woman and her husband had pleaded with Joe to, um, you know, provide service. They've had, you know, hundreds of therapists previously, but saw something in Joe. I would um, uh, send uh, by email interviews. She would then translate them into Afrikaans, speak them, and they would answer. And then after a while, um, Jo would try her own questions. And the agreement was that the clients would evaluate her questions. And matter of fact, she just met them 20 years later and they said this had saved her life and, um, you know, had enriched their lives, this experience. And, and we were looking at the questions and um, uh, they would also, Joe would also inquire to her clients whether, what was the effect of the questions on them. And, um, I started thinking a, a great deal about how to learn this. And uh, I realized that I had been studying hard and uh, scrutinizing my own work, but that um, this was not a matter of memorization or manualization. This was a matter, uh, was reminded of Michael's um, notion of jazz improvisation and his, you know, his division into two um, orders. One was learning the scales and then was uh, being freed uh, to try it out, to try it out and to evaluate it. I started to realize that I was looking for certain kinds of questions that um, had a sense of anticipation, had a sense of, of uh, creating a new knowledge, and I called it co-research. And this made for a very different kind of inquiry in which, but one thing it did require was the text of the questions. And I realized that that had never been done before. However, I know when I spoke to anyone about their training, when they were required to transcribe their work and review it, most people told me that that's how they learn to do their work most. But when I asked, have you ever done anything of this sort since you graduated, no one had ever done that.